there's this story that I just absolutely love. It's from Tesla in 2018 about this thing called the Gigapress. So Elon is at the Tesla headquarters in Palo Alto, and there's this toy version of the Model S that he's playing with. And he looks at the bottom of it, and the entire underbody of the car had been die cast in a single piece of metal. And at the time, the underbody of the actual Model S contained more than a hundred different parts. And so Elon's going to take this toy car and he goes to the engineers and asks, hey, why can't we make the underbody of the car a single piece like this toy car? And the engineers say the obvious answer that it's too big. And like the Model S's actual underbody is way too big. And Elon responds with the idea that, hey, this doesn't break the laws of physics. So just go get a, a bigger casting machine and figure out how to do it. And so their team ends up calling six of the major casting companies. Five of them turn them down, but one of them ends up taking Tesla up for it and they build this Gigapress, which is one of the innovations for Tesla and which allows them to make cars at the rate they do. It's just this monster machine that makes the underbody of the car in one piece in 80 seconds. So I just love that example. Like I said, there, this book is littered of examples of using first principles thinking. We talked about it with, with the idiot index. And now this ex example with the Gigapress is just fantastic applications of this first principles thinking to real world problems.